let's get into a bit of a stock market update. Let's go, go, go. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh man, did you like that entry? Um, you know, we do so many videos on YouTube and, um, you know, you do so many videos on YouTube and you know, just do so many videos on Facebook and all that sort of stuff. It's just like, wow. Um, <laughs> anyway, let's get a bit of a, a bit of a market update. What's happening now? Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video today because trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There are so many areas you need to become good at to become a good trader. Emotional mastery, chart reading, trading systems, money and trade management. So this video is just educational only to help you become a much better trader. S&P 500, we had a bit of a bit of a break up to the high side. Had a bit more volume behind this as well too, as you can see here. Um, Really, everyone, everyone's eyes is on this Fed announcement tonight. This thing is going to go crazy, crazy, crazy when the Fed announcement comes out. Um, just so many people are looking at it. For, for basically today, we had a bit of a, you know, a, a small bit of, bit of an update, a nice, nice update through, or not a nice update, but it did start closing above this update here. It's closing up, it's closing above there. That tells me that we're trying to re really trying to race to the high side, um, but again, guys, I just don't see this being bullish. I've been saying this for for a couple of weeks now, but I just don't see this being bullish. We may get a little bit of upside, but you know, if you look at your Fibonacci levels, right now we're at the fifty, and this is the sixty-two percent level. That's that's the range here. I, I see this thing just rejecting and just hammering to the downside. Um, I don't see this thing. Up, I don't think we're going to race up to new highs. I just don't see that happening um, on on the markets. Dow Jones. Are we seeing a little rally to the high side? That's coming close into an area of 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 this resistance over here. I was just looking over here to see if I can see any support or resistance levels, but no, I can't. Um, we can see that's happening through there and we can see that that's what's happening through here as well too. Resistance, resistance, broken through. We're now getting too close to some areas of resistance as well. And, um, and we can see that's what's happening through there. So to me guys, I just don't see, once again, I don't see this being, it just does not look bullish to me at all that this is very, very bearish. I say down we go. Once again, um, the markets. This is the markets getting propped up for more downside to come. I believe, I believe. Um, you know, same with the Russell. The Russell's Russell's well, the Russell's been very strong. Um, what's happened with my software down here? <laughs> it's like it's suddenly one of the at a volume spike here on my Russell chart. Um, anyway, so you can see that's what's happening through there. We're really starting. We're still we're still crawling up into this level through here. Let's delete that off the screen because we don't need that on the screen anymore. And let's actually just see, is there any sort of support and resistance line going down through here? And you can see there's something going on through there, right? So right there. And it's really interesting. Isn't that interesting? I just drew that trend line. Obviously connects it there, connects it there. It's closed right there, right before the Fed announcement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> see, the last couple of times, if I'm going back here, the last couple of times we broke the 200 moving average, we were very quickly to break above the moving average. We, got, we came down here and we had a, a really a hard run up. This here, guys, this market's going to get hammered, I tell you right now. It's just, that's what I see in the charts. This is going to get hammered. Um, yeah, big time, I believe. So, well, that's what I believe anyway. Um, so we can see this on the, on the NASDAQ as well too. We can see that's what's happening through there. Um, you know, and so well, the same thing for here, guys. You can see if I bring in a little Fibonacci tool up from high to low, you can see right now we definitely closed above the 62. It's pretty hard with this spike, isn't it? So this is the 62% level. This is the whole bunch of, this whole area through here, up through there, and also through there. That whole area through there is obviously indeed a area of support and resistance so you know what guys i don't see this as being a bullish thing at all people saying bullish 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 and some uh some people on tv and so on and so forth have been saying that 
You know, guys, I really don't see this being a bullish thing. Um, I could be wrong, and that's the reason why I don't just trade based on what I think. But my thoughts on seeing this here is this market's going to get hammered. Um, let's have a look at a few, th a few other ones. Oil. Oil had a massive, or not a massive spike, but a nice 5% update. Oil's going to start getting more and more and more volatile as well too. As you can see, we're getting, you know, getting some really big spikes on, on that as well too. Um, like a bit of a bull flag, right? So maybe oil's going to, maybe oil's going to start going back up. Um, and gold as well too. Gold had a really nice 1 point something percent, 1.3% update. Um, you know, looking at gold guys, um, I'm actually, I'm personally in a bit of a strangle on this one as well too. So, um, you know, I'm just going to let it go. You know, it had, had a bit of an upside day, uh, an update today. Um, it did, it did, it did actually sort of hold on this support level and now it's had a bit of a pop to the high side. Um, you know, we'll see what happens with that and, um, and yeah, we'd sort of just, just let it go as well too. There's no, there's no true direction on this one here. If I go to the weekly chart over here and we see what's happening on the weekly chart overall, that is the weekly chart there overall. So, um, yeah, yeah, there's not, not really much happening through here. As I said before, this level of support is through here, that level of support through there. Is, is where it's holding up right now, this level of support right here. And we have a bit of support down here. So I I, I, I do think we're likely to get down to this down this level through here and possibly even down here more um, on gold. Um, it's just not happening at the moment. So just letting that go and let us do a thing. Looking at natural gas, I'm also in a trade in natural gas as well too. Natural gas had, uh, you know, it started rallying up through, I'm thinking, oh, okay. And then suddenly the market, the market started to pull back hard through here. And I'm actually in a natural gas trade myself, bit of a strangle as well too. So I'm, you know, if this thing's gonna start going down, I wanna see this thing break and it's start to really ricochet to the downside because I wanna get out of my trade on my strangle because I've been in it for quite some time. I've been in the, man, man I, think I, got, I think I got into it back here somewhere. So I've been in this for a couple of months now on this trade. So let's see what happens with that one. And let's see what else uh, we've got. Uh, and we've got the VIX continuing to drop down through here. So um, this is looking, look look where, look where look at this here. Look at the, the stochastics down the bottom here. Hmm, something's not, something's not right with that one. I think we're likely to get some, some serious, some serious movement out of this one soon um, when it comes to the VIX. And um, it's some serious movement, I believe, either up or down. I believe up, and we'll likely get some serious spiking out of this as well too. I believe, um, so you know, maybe maybe a good good chance for a um, strangle opportunity for that as well too. So, anyway, guys, that's a bit of an update for you. Let's have a look at the news front. Let's see if there's anything that I can see on the news front there. All right, um, this is the. This, let me go to this. this let's go to here. Um, let's go to to the home page. Let's see if we can see any any obvious senior strains, the new entrepreneurs. Oh, by the way, guys, you guys you guys know this as well too, and I'd like to get your, your opinion on this, but what a joke we are to you know to, to the public out there. You know, S in Australia in Australia that is. Um, you know, this the whole prime minister is getting. Do we have any say in this? This is incredible. You know, what I mean, it's like new prime minister after new prime minister, and it's not, not public has no say. And then if you don't vote, you get fined. <laughs> it's like, what a joke we are. You know what I mean? Like, really, it is such a joke when it comes to when it comes to this as well. Too, you can see we just open now. We're just doing this recording. We just open now. Let's go to some some basic charts with all odds. Uh, we can see. Let's go to candlestick. We can see we actually had a bit of a slight little update um, yesterday as well too. Uh, let's just go to one month worth of time frame. Uh, oh wow, that's one month. That's three months. Let's go three months, and you can see like here you can see like a little up bar on this as well too. Um, so yeah, nothing going on there. Let's actually go through. Um, let's obviously uh, Bank Chiefs, Bank's Turmoil Vision. One in ten Aussie facing debt until they die. Um, we need to stop that. That's something you know. Facing debt is obviously, and that's that's actually a big thing that stops people from moving forward. It, I believe is when you're looking at uh, when you're looking at um, you know when you're looking at getting ahead. There's obviously two ways of getting ahead. There's obviously increase your income and decrease your expenses. I personally try to do both myself. 
um, I'm always trying to do that. Now, it doesn't always happen, but I'm always trying to do that myself is, um, you know, um, yeah, just doing things a lot more smarter. Uh, let's have a look here. 47 hour work from home sponsor. Oh, wow. That's, that's like $47, a, $47 uh, chart. Um, profits dip 67% on earnings. Global financial, CNS, CNBC, biggest supermarket shopping center mistakes. So it doesn't look like there's anything here. Um, looking, um, just looking at all this as well too. Let's go to here, the world markets, Australian markets. Uh, nothing really here, business. Just just seeing, just, I'm just doing, doing my research as I speak as well too. Fame and fortune, lessons learned from 50 cent. Ooh. Um, Trump golf's empire in the weeds. Trump's golf empire in the weeds. Donald Trump, 55 million gold empire, maybe in the weeds. Whatever. Um, Donald Trump's smarter than most people. <laughs> um, uh, finances. Let's go up and have a look at, say, um, we just goes to news and opinion overall. Um, What do we got here? Some stocks here. Um, let's go to interest rates. Just sort of do a bit of a bit of research while I'm actually doing this as well too. So I haven't actually done any research. I like to look around and see what what sort of announcements are coming out. But it doesn't look like there's much going on there uh, when it comes to when it when it comes to that. So let's actually go and have a look at uh, more. More like uh, just go investing. See what's coming up there. Um, uh, okay, so this is Fed. Fed announcement. All right, cool. All right, anyway, that's nothing really there as well too. Um, I just like to look and have. I, I like to have a look around every now and then on what that site says, but that's what we can see. What's happening there? Fed announcements coming out, guys, and we're gonna get some rocking and rolling, some moving and shaking, and some grooving. And uh, and I hope you prepare for it. I hope you're ready for it as well too. I personally am, and I'll be putting more positions on before the Fed announcements to make sure that I profit from the volatility that's going to increase in the markets. This is John Hal here. Remember, success can be yours if you go climate. So step up, take massive action, and face your fears today.